I would probably ghost a friendship before attacking it, before having that confrontation with one of my close friends. Like, so when I came home from jail, I uh, wanted to get a job. I ain't want to be in the street no more. I didn't want to stay in the corner no more. A week after I come home from jail, my homeboy is like, yo, come down here. We just robbed a nigga. We, I want you to drive, drive to his car to Virginia. We'll pay you to get to Virginia. It was this whole thing, whatever. It was a whole thing. And I was like, yo, my man. I just came home. I'm on parole, bro. <laughs> like, you're calling me trying to set, you trying to give me $1,000 to drive a car to fucking Virginia right now, my nigga, and you know I'm just on parole. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to be in the street. And over the course of time, so I'm watching him now. I'm watching how he moving me. And I'm watching, yo, he's trying to take me back. But I still <laughs> didn't go at him crazy. Mm -hmm. I just stopped answering calls. I just stopped showing up around the way. You know what I'm saying? But I noticed that women are more intentional with the way that y'all handle y'all friendships with yeah. me. I'm probably kind of pussy out. 